Hudson, and I am letting Sam Gordon into the venue. Let's distribute a little bit of recording privileges. All right, we are ready. We can start raising virtual or unvirtual hands since I can see everybody on the call. So no need to go virtual if you don't want to. But Asia, why don't we just start with the fact that you're playing the same time, uh, same team, two games in a row back to back in their building. What are some of the challenges of trying to pull off back to back wins in that in that fashion? Um, just the energy. Like I know I would love to play the same team twice uh, back at home because uh, the energy's there and then you have a quick turnaround to where they can fix things uh, that didn't go well in the first game and same for us so for us we just got to keep our head on straight and don't lose focus or don't let up because of how game one was so it is tough because uh, things could look different even though you're playing the same team and marie asia uh how did you spend the day yesterday how did I spend the day yesterday? Oh, I was asleep. I was knocked out asleep. Um, went with Chelsea and Jackie some places to get some food. But other than that, uh, I was just sleeping. <laughs> okay. And then um, during this next stretch where you're playing almost every other day, um, what is the way that you maintain your focus without looking ahead? You just spoke about it a little bit. But, you know, yeah. the dream on Sunday, yeah. how do you... Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is just paying attention to what's ahead. Um, just sometimes even take your mind off of basketball. Sometimes if it's just sleeping, cutting off your phone, uh, that's kind of what I do. I just kind of lean on my family to take my mind off of what's the next thing. And then once I get in the moment, then I can tackle it. Uh, but it is tough. I think it's tough to think that we're even coming up on a break more so than the games that are before the break. Uh, this is a tough stretch because we have to be like, okay, we got a break coming up, so we just got to get through this. But you have to take every team seriously in this league. Uh, we're elite at what we do, all teams across the board. So that's really what we have to focus on is just getting to the break, and that's probably the hardest part. And it's not going to be much of a break for you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then the last thing, uh, for you personally tonight, what are your keys? What are you focusing upon? Ooh, uh, it's funny because Tanisha and I were just talking about this. Um, I don't know. I just want to work on different aspects of my game, continue to grow. Uh, I joked about it on Twitter about my assist, but that's a big key of what I want to focus on is uh, passing the ball more uh, in, di in different situations, not just out of the double team, but seeing it earlier and hitting my teammates when they're open. Uh, they do a good job of doing that to me, so I have to return the favor because they are there, so I can't have tunnel vision, can't be a ball magnet, uh, and that's something I'm really going to focus on uh, throughout the continuation of the season. Thank you, Asia. Yep. Rashawn? Hey, Asia. Um, growing up, was, was there another, I know I've read stories about, you know, the relationship with your dad and, and how he kind of pushed you on the basketball court. Was there another sport initially that you were interested in prior to, or was, was it always basketball? Oh, I love volleyball. Volleyball was my first love. Um, I love the game. I love the energy around it. Um, I just had a ton of fun. Uh, it was the, I think probably my first sport I tried at Heathwood. Yeah, I, I loved volleyball. I was even thinking about going to South Carolina on a dual scholarship uh, because I just loved it that much and I didn't want to let it go. Um, but yeah, that was my biggest sport, but I did everything. My parents had me in soccer, track, gymnastics, ballet, everything, tap, dancing, piano, anything. Asia's been through it. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, volleyball was definitely my, my number one. Um, with, with your team, I mean, there's no shortage of talent um, on, on your squad. Uh, which, which does it feel like when you step onto the floor knowing, I mean, there's five of you that are going to score in double figures um, and on any given night, right? It, it, someone can just explode for, you know, 20 or 30. Like, like, what's that feeling like every time you step on the floor? I mean, it's a good feeling to know that you never know who it may be. And uh, I think the beauty of being a, a great athlete, a great professional athlete, is being consistent in what you do. And that's kind of how I hold my standards to myself. I hold myself accountable. But it is a good feeling to know that uh, five of us can take over a game, six of us can, seven of us can take over a game, and that's key. Like that's a big thing to have. Um, yes, it looks great on paper, but when you're on court, to still be able to do that, it's it's definitely special. I'm glad I'm playing alongside of it and not against it. <laughs> um, as it relates to the Sparks, um, what are some keys for you as a team tonight? I know the, the second nights 
of these back to backs, normally the team that loses, obviously they come out with a little bit more fire. What are some keys for you tonight to, to um, knowing that that's probably on the horizon? Um, we just got to continue to do us. We got to focus on us. Um, yes, we focus on them as well, but it's key to clean up things that we did wrong in game one. Uh, we didn't play a perfect game. There's a lot of things that we could have honed in on that we didn't. So we got to focus on those little things. So then uh, it's not just about this game, but it's about the next game and who we are as a team. So I think that's what we really have to focus on coming in is how can we get better? What did we do in game one that we need to change up in game two? What didn't you do well? <laughs> <laughs> our defensive schemes were a little off we could have defended the ball a little bit better but we gotta we gotta get better with that that's just communication so at least that's something we can do is talk <laughs> all right uh thank you very much yeah sam hey asia uh you and you and g came in together just from your perspective how has she grown um as a player in person you know the last few years yeah i mean g's confidence is just it, it just makes me so happy to see her just blossom uh, I really, it's hard to think that I really watched G grow up from a 19 year old to now. Uh, it's a big difference. Just the way she carries herself, the trust that she has. Cause we're like, gee, you can shoot the basketball. Like, yes, you're surrounded by talent, but you're talent talented as well. Like you wouldn't be here if you couldn't do what you need to do. So just seeing her confidence and just, just G, like she's just someone you really gotta be around. It's cool, she doesn't say much, but she gets what we're saying. And it's just really cool just to see her pick up on like our slang and different things like that. But her confidence is just blossomed through and you can see it on and off the court. Thank you, Asia. Yeah. Carolyn Peck. Asia, I know you and your parents are really close and I was really interested specifically, Roscoe, his response when you were named to the Olympic team. <laughs> yeah um it was kind of like if you guys heard my mvp when my mom and dad were screaming on the phone it was kind of like that but they really couldn't like i didn't think they really they probably expressed it more when i hung up uh but i told them kind of like the night before and, and they're just like in awe because they know this is something that i've dreamt of like being and i just i'm pretty sure my dad probably teared up a little bit he didn't want to show it but i think he did my mom did 100 percent uh, but it's just pretty cool to show, like, just to see them, like, that emotional about it. Because it's something I dreamt of doing. Like, I remember telling, I think I told somebody else, I had an olympic theme birthday party. Like, I, it's something that's been in me. And to now finally say that I'm an Olympian, it's something that's, like, truly special to my family. I hate they can't be there with me. Uh, but I know they're going to be there with me in, in spirit and everything else. So they were, like, really, really happy. <laughs> awesome. And then... Uh, Dierica Hamby coming off the bench and being named an all-star. Can you talk about your feelings about that? Oh, man, it's a great feeling. Like, I, I, Dee works so hard to get to where she is. Like, she is who she is. She never switches up. And that's someone that deserves to be an all-star. Um, we wouldn't be the team that we are without Dee. She's our glue. She's our X factor. And for her to get that all-star uh, first one is a big thing. I just can't stop smiling. I, 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 that's my all-star now. I'm so glad that she can be in that game and to get that accolade because she deserves it 100%. And then a lot of times when people ask you about upcoming games or all you refer to, you just had a conversation with Tanisha Wright. Yeah. So can you really talk about how Tanisha, her leadership, her coaching and what she's bringing? Oh, T brings the real of the real, like, she, because she's not that far removed from the game. She is like someone we can talk to as if she just know, did the scout just like us. And she's keeping it real 100%. She doesn't really sugarcoat it or put it in like coaching terms. Uh, she just lets you know straight up. And that's someone that I feel like I need in my corner, uh, no matter what. And she makes sure it'll be times and games where I just give her a look. And she like pulls me aside and she tells me exactly what I need to do. And it puts me at ease. So I can greatly appreciate someone like Tanisha on the bench that keeps it 100 with me no matter what. And it makes me comfortable enough to know that I can go out there and hoop. Great. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We will tap you out. And tap, 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 and Kelsey Plum. Happy birthday, Kelsey.